this tutorial we're going to look at one of the new features in ST10 which is the clone command or clone pattern and we will use it to select um, and copy the uh, idler assembly in this assembly here so if we go to the clone component uh, obviously we move through the first step by selecting the idler first and then we need to select the faces so what this is asking is can we select the positional pieces that it's defined by so we have these two holes here that um, locate the idler assembly in the assembly so if we right mouse click to accept that and the final step is to choose where it's going to look for that whole pattern and as you see as I click on the two components you'll see it placing the idler assembly in multiple times based on that whole pattern um, as you'll also notice though that some of these have been um, placed in opposite directions this is potentially due to the fact that the holes were placed in a different order um, so we'll right mouse click, mouse click to accept that and you'll see that we have these dots on the idlers that have been placed in the assembly so we can click on that if I hold the control key down I can select multiple ones and we see all the ones that have uh, been placed in the wrong way around and we get a new tool up here which allows us to um, either remove those or we can rotate them so if we click on that it will actually um, bring them round into the uh, different orientation and I just noticed that these ones down here are upside down being that it's sort of a rotational piece and we can rotate them around multiple positions and you'll see that it's not just um, because they are um, holes that go right through um, it gives us the option of placing them around the opposing side so you can see that this um, while similar to the duplicate command um, gives you the extra, extra flexibility of being able to reposition these um, components while it's placing it so when we uh, right mouse click to finish you'll see that these have all been placed in a uh, an assembled group and on top of that each one has its own set of relationships so they can be redefined um, if you really want to you can ungroup these items and have them in the assembly so it gives you the power to really build assembly assemblies or sub assemblies parts in a much quicker fashion